Elizabeth Freeman, in early life known as Bet and later Mom Bet, born into slavery about 1742 at the farm of Peter Hogboom in Claverick, New York, where she was given the name Bet. Throughout her life, Bet exhibited a strong spirit and a sense of self. She came into conflict with Hannah Ashley, who was raised in the strict Dutch culture of the New York colony. In 1780, Bet prevented Hannah from striking her daughter Betsy with a heated shovel, but Elizabeth shielded her daughter and received a deep wound in her arm. As the wound healed, Bet left it uncovered as evidence of her harsh treatment. Bet sought the counsel of Theodore Cedric, a young abolition-minded lawyer, to help her for her freedom in court. Sedgwick willingly accepted the case, as well as that of Brom, another of Ashley's slaves. He enlisted the aid of Tapping Reed, the founder of America's first law school, located in Litchfield, Connecticut. The case of Brom and Bet versus Ashley was heard in August 1781, before the County Court of Common Pleas in Great Barrington. Sedwick and Reeve asserted that the constitutional provision that all men are born free and equal effectively abolished slavery in the state. When the jury ruled in Bet's favor, she became the first African American woman to be set free under the Massachusetts state constitution. Freeman's real age was never known, but an estimate on her tombstone puts her at about age 85 when she died December 1829 and was buried in the Sedwick family plot in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. The decision in the case of Elizabeth Freeman was cited as precedent when the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court heard the appeal of Quack Walker versus Jennison and Walker's freedom was upheld. This is a moment in black history.